Hey guys, I just want to explain something quickly in this video here. Okay, I'm laying it all on the line. If you want to carve a wood spirit like this, go to my, you can see in my playlist how to carve a wood spirit. Look for the, the thumbnail picture that's like this. And you'll be able to carve nice little wood spirits. Like This is a little detailed guy, but you'll get to the level be able to carve wood spirits like this. My style, everything in this video is my opinion, guys. Okay, it's all my opinion, but I'm laying it on the line right now. Okay, I'm laying it on the line so I can send people to this video. Here's some of my arsenal that I have for carving. Okay. There's all my carving burrs. Dremel. Dremel 4300, Dremel Multi Pro, Dremel 200, Dremel 300, Dremel 100. Favorite Merlin 2 carver I just got, guys. Love it. That's for more experienced carvers. Dremel Flex Shafts. My Fordham SR Series with the industrial flex shaft. Okay, guys? This is the industrial model. Here's a knockoff Fordham Grizzly. Guys, you know, here's, a, here's my new uh, micro motor. Okay? The Ram Power RTX. I think this is for more experienced carvers, guys. This was almost like five hundred dollars Canadian to get it shipped here and stuff like that. You guys, I have half. This is only half of my Dremels and my carvers, guys. I have another half, this much, almost this much, at my chainsaw carving area, guys. Okay. Here's the Dremel Advantage. I have two of these. Here's the flex shaft that comes with this. This thing is the ram horse for Dremel, guys. This thing breaks flex shafts like nothing. It's so powerful, I don't even use it anymore. One time I broke, just recently I broke three inner flex shafts in one week. Okay, here's my other flex shaft for it. There's special flex shafts for these ones, guys. These are discontinued, okay? The bottom line is, Here's some burrs I got, okay? I got all different brands, makes, models, okay? Here's a couple saber tooths right here just to show you guys, okay? Aluminum cutters, diamond burrs. I've wasted so much money on little shit like this, okay? And I want to explain something very simple. This is half my tools I have right now, okay? My other half is at my chainsaw carving area. I've broken twice as much as this, guys. In the garbage, gone. The wens, the cheap knockoff ones, the knockoff flex shafts, you know, these knockoff general flex shafts from China, these kind of sanding burrs, these degrees. I've used it all, guys. I've done it all. All these tools here are good because the ones that are broken, I just chuck them away. I don't keep them around. I don't bother with spare parts. Because I don't have a huge place. So, but what I'm going to explain to you, if you want to carve, get carving wood spirits, all you need. And like I said, it's my opinion. All you need. And the best thing for you to get is a Dremel 4000 with a Dremel flex shaft. Dremel. And a cut saw carving burr, guys. Here's a cut saw extreme flame burr. Here's a brand new one in the box, okay? One eighth fixing, fits in the Dremel flex shaft, okay? This is the one eighth Dremel flex shaft. Why, you guys, Saber Tooth is another good brand of burrs too. But why? Look. I said, I have some. There's two right there, those green ones. Like I said, but like I'm saying, why I choose the cut saw extreme flame burr? Because there's no burr this small, aggressive as, as this, okay? I'm heavy hands, I break shit all the time. I go through burrs like crazy. There's saber tooth, there's typhoons, there's all different makes and models, okay? Look at, this is a quarter inch. This is for my Fordham. That's aggressive. Sabretooth does make aggressive ones like these for the quarter inch. But I'm telling you right now, and I'd like to prove anybody wrong, 
all my buddies on YouTube and stuff like that. Some of them use saber tooth, some of them use cut saw, and we all respect each other. But nobody can tell me that there's a more aggressive one eighth burr bit than the cut saw extremes. And that's proof and it's a fact and I can prove it. And these last the longest. For somebody like me, if you're heavy hands, you can melt these suckers out pretty quick. Okay? All the tools I use, guys, in, are in the description below. I got an Amazon store. If you buy anything from the Amazon store, all you're doing is help support the channel. Guys, I don't have this YouTube to try and make money. I do it because I've wasted so much cash. I've wasted tons of cash. Well, guys, also you need to is you need to make yourself one of these little sanders. And you can look at my playlist and you can see how you make these two, okay? You'll see a picture of this little flap sander. Just watch that video. And you get little sandpaper like this to do it, okay? I'm not gonna get into it. I wanna show you guys more stuff. Okay, let's just get this stuff out of the way here, okay? Let's just get this out of the way. Get out of here, wood spirit. Okay, let's see. Look, chisels. Oh look this it's a wood it's a wood water water meter tester. Let's see if I can get this thing off. Anyways, it's a wood test. Wood It's a it's a wood tester. You test the how dry the wood is or whatever, okay? I've bought it all. I've wasted all the money on good things and bad things, guys. Chisels. I've got these given to me. They're from flea markets. Like, here's an old one. This is super old. My real dad gets a knife. It was a friggin' butter knife. Somebody folded over, sharpened it, and made it a gouging chisel. This is only a quarter of the chisels that I have, guys. A quarter of them. This is the old shit right here. Look, it's a steak knife. Somebody bent a steak knife. It made a chisel so you could take things out of the wood. Probably a native. This is old native style stuff. It's just like this, guys. You know what I mean? This is like an antique. Okay? So that's a quarter of my chisels. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put my phone down for two secs. Actually, no, I won't even put it down. Foot pedals, guys. Okay? I'm running four foot pedals right now. I should have five. If you don't think I know what I'm talking about, for the industrial flex shaft, okay? Because I even break the industrial flex shaft. I've only broken one so far. Here's an extra five, okay? Just in case for when I break one, I got more on standby, an extra five. I don't order one at a time. I order 10 at a time, okay? I got this, or I think I ordered seven of those at a time, okay? Foot pedals, guys, I got foot pedals. Foot pedal switch. This is just the on off. It's not a speed control. So you guys, when you're gonna buy a pedal, make sure it says speed control, not just a switch. This is just on and off. Waste of money. Okay, what's this one? This is the same thing. Bought on Amazon for cheap. It's a switch, it's not a speed control. Waste of money. Okay, look, a, a knockoff flex shaft, okay? It fits in a drill, guys. This is for a drill. Waste of money. Look at all this stuff in here. It's all Japanese crap knockoff waste of money, guys. I've wasted way too much money to get where I'm at right now. That's what I'm trying to say in this video. That's why I started my YouTube channel. Because when I started curving, I spent hours upon hours upon hours watching YouTube videos, trying to figure out different types of burrs to use. And they were all boring and uninteresting. And I said, if I get okay at carving, guys, here, here's one of my very first wood spirits. You guys, look at your own wood spirits, your first ones, and look at my first one. So you guys, what I'm trying to say is I'm just like you. This was done in, look, it's even got two J's on it. I just signed it one J now. But this was done probably four years ago. It's a friggin' little Ewok cell phone on a piece of cartonwood bark. You know, that, to that, and I didn't even spend too much time on this little guy, this mahogany. It's just like a little mirror hanger, okay? 
but from this to this you know i'm not trying my channel is not about look what i can do look what i can do this channel is about showing you guys different carving tools what's good what's not good that's why i wanted to make the channel because as i was saying when i started carving i was like man if i ever get okay good enough i'm gonna make my own youtube channel to make it real simple for beginning carvers so they don't waste their all their money on stuff like this you don't need all this stuff when you're first starting guys you don't i promise you that all you need is a dremel 400 sorry for the mess hooked up to a flex shaft like this so you can hold it in your hand you know what I mean? Look how comfortable that is. It's like holding a pen and you're carving. Okay? But if you're going to just hold the Dremel, look how comfortable this is. It's not comfortable. You guys can get... you If you guys don't have a lot of money, this isn't that much money for the 400 That's why I'm suggesting it. Okay? It's not a lot of money. I'm in Canada. I think this is like $70 or $80. And this is $35. There's $110 to get you going. Canadian it can be cheaper in America but if you guys have a Dremel like this and you don't have money to go buy this buy a flex shaft don't waste your money on the cheap crap buy a Dremel Dremel is the best besides the Fordham okay Fordham's once you get decide you want to start curving then you upgrade to a Fordham okay you can if you can never afford one of these because these are expensive too you guys, you can buy a cheap knockoff one on Amazon. I got some links down below. They're good till you decide that you're really into it and you're going to want to wood carve for the rest of your life. I'm car wood carving for the rest of my life. It is my life. It saved my life. You guys, trust me. The only thing I don't have here that I regret I don't have is my Black & Decker RTX. I burnt it out. In like two or three months because I, I i carved all my christmas trees with it and everything but that compares to the dremel 4000 the black and decker rtx and yes the dremel flex shaft does hook up to it don't waste your money guys i'm sorry about i'm not preaching here at all i'm just trying to let you all know you know what i mean here's my setup guys i'm just trying to let you all know This is all you need. This is all you need. And this is all you need. And go to my link like this to learn how to carve a wood spirit the way I do. There's lots of different styles. I think mine's the easiest. That's probably because I'm the one that made it. Love the haters, you big baby. Cry baby. There you go, guys. The only thing about making a video like this is I got to clean up all this bullshit. Ah. Hey guys, sorry I kind of, when I get going on a video and talking, I kind of get carried away. I forgot what the whole point of this video was. The whole point of this video was about this Dremel 4000 or the Black & Decker RTX. It is the perfect, I believe, in my opinion, it is the perfect, perfect amount of speed for this Dremel flex shaft. I break the least amount of flex shafts when I use this 400. If I'm using a 4300, it's a powerful tool. If I'm using this 4300, I do break lots of inter, inter shafts, okay? But when I use this, I don't break them guys, either with the RTX. I didn't break one flex shaft for that three months when I had that uh, RTX. And you guys, it's really hard to break the flex shafts when you got the Dremels like this. You guys can carve with these tools. I'm telling you right now with the flex shaft, you can. Okay, I better stop before I start getting carried away, guys. Because I love this shit. This shit is my life. The 4000 is the best carver for the beginning wood carver out there. Wood carving, guys. That's what it's about. Wood carving. It will take you to a happy place. Okay, guys. Last point here, I promise. Why I chose wood carving over painting, because I, with my painting, I can't draw worth the shit, guys. I can draw this okay, because I've driven, drew 5,000 of them. But if I wanted to paint this, make it look like old 
wizard kind of face guy, wood spirit, and make it look round in the painting. Not a friggin' hope in hell. But with wood carving, you can do it. Trust me. Because you can carve the eyes deeper. You can car carve the side of the face round, guys. It's simple. It is. And the more you do, the better you're going to get. I promise you. You might have struggled with painting or drawing. And you're like, I'm not any kind of artist and I'm not going to try wood carving. But I'm telling you right now, if you try wood carving with this power carver and this type of burr, you don't have to worry about which way the, the grain's going. You can carve, if this grain was going this way, I could carve this thing any way I wanted to carve it. When you use chisels, you're supposed to only chisel in one way or you can chip the wood. Not with this thing. Carve it as deep as you want to carve it and in which direction you want to carve it, guys. Try it. I'm telling you. The 4000 Dremel Flex Shaft cuts all burr or a good carving burr like this. And I'm telling you, your life's going to change. Okay, I'll just shut up, Jordy, whatever. Sorry, guys. One more thing. For all my uh, subscribers that I've become friends with or if you've been watching my channel for a while and you've started wood carving after watching this Carving Fusion a wood carving channel, can you leave a comment below saying how much you enjoy it and you're not any kind of artist but you're learning to become an artist because you found this flex shaft with these burrs and the Dremel carvings guys? Can you explain to the, to the people that are new to this channel? In the comments below, if you know what I mean. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Last thing, I promise. All I can say is if that mess that I made here, in my fast talking, had the chance to help one person out in this world, then I'm satisfied. And tomorrow, I'm carving a rock. No, it's not a tape rock. It's a rock I found on a beach.